a fruit. It's always so exciting when I come out here in the morning and I see those flowers open. So exciting. Ooh. One of those flowers is a fruit. And as luck would have it, the other flower, the other flower that's open in there is a male flower. You can see right here, this flower right here, it's attached to a fruit that's growing. And this is my zucchini plant. And what tends to happen in Vegas, I found this out years ago when I had my very first garden, all of my fruit were shriveling up and turning brown and dying off. And I couldn't understand why they weren't growing and getting gorgeous. Um, my water just came on. So what happens around here is because we don't have the bee population that other areas of the country have, like the, um, the Midwest and um, the South, places that are really plentiful with growing crops. Uh, the bees are around everywhere. And I did have bees around earlier when my um, fruit trees were blooming, but they're kind of starting to go away now and they're not around as much. So what I have to do is, if you can see in here, there's another flower right here underneath the fruit flower. And this flower right here, it's attached to a stem, okay? The difference between this flower and the flower on the fruit is the flower that's on the fruit is a female flower. The flower that's on the stem is a male flower. You need this male flower to pollinate this female flower. So what I do is I'm gonna cut this flower off and if you look inside, you can see the little stamen in there and it's got pollen on it. So I'm gonna take that little stamen and I'm going to pollinate inside the female flower right there. And then in a few days, I will have a zucchini. Ah, this is always my, one of my favorite parts of gardening is coming out and seeing the squash and the zucchini.